Hello everyone. In this video I will try to explain how we can write our own webhook for GitLab. I hope the power of my laptop will be enough to record this video really because to prepare all this stuff I created my own Kubernetes cluster inside of my laptop, not mini cook with a lot of worker nodes. And inside of these worker nodes I have installed and configured GitLab with false domain name actually, which I have configured it inside of my uh, save windows syst system host file, actually full pass I will not say. And I prepared a webhook, created docker image, which I will give information more uh, when I will start to discuss inside of codes, but mainly I can say Inside of admin area of the GitLab, I've configured webhook, with which we can see with secret token. I will say right now for what I'm using this, because to authenticate webhook URL inside of my Kubernetes cluster, and at the same time to be more secure. So if I will check it right now, we can find pods. That means to move a little bit right side pod inside webhook. And it, this pod going to get credentials to Jira at the same time, at the same time secret token to authenticate with the GitLab. So just imagine, I have installed GitLab, configured here domain name, which will map to the service name inside of the same namespace. If I will look, still get SVC minus and GitLab webhook. We see the service with the same name which I defined here works inside of Kubernetes cluster in the namespace GitLab webhook. Even from here we can catch it. But to authenticate, I've used secret token. Even we can find it from here. All stuff about Jira token and Jira username, password, and URL I've configured inside of manifest folder uh, inside of secrets because deployment going to get all these variables from secret as we can see it's configured here. But what I want to show, just imagine, we can catch all data from request body which comes to our webhook and in response we can return anything. We can write to any Slack channel or call any another API. So full simulation in our hand, it, it doesn't matter if, if you operate merge request, we can go to check Jira really defined inside of comment message uh, the merge uh, Jira ticket name and ticket number, I mean project K of the Jira, or we can check if inside of some group created in GitLab some project, we can notify and handle some place to inform infra team or any another person, it doesn't matter. So just imagine right now I will look output of the webhook to see what's happening because inside of code file little bit I will say you it's docker file which copies all content needed file content inside of docker image I based on this I created this image pushed to docker registry it's hub docker com actually and using inside of deployment inside of my Kubernetes cluster and it's output of the pod which I showed before so right now I will go to edit merge request and type here wrong ticket some number. If I will do save change and return back to the hooks, we, we must see here latest, even from here we can find it, the power of my laptop. Yeah, it's still waiting, but just now we can view details. Yeah, we can see merge request has invalid Jira ticket because my code went to Jira API, checked the closest string try to find even from inside of app yaml file we can see and merge request going to validate to use validate jira ticket here 
and it's going to check if string starts with closes, then some word and then some digits. It must present inside of Jira and if it's not present, of course, it will inform it's wrong place. If I will write write ticket name there, and we can see inside of output it it's it catch real ticket name with a number, read description from Jira, return back to our logs to see really it's working. And if we go back to admin area, type refresh to get the latest one, we can see more requests as a valid Jira ticket. At the same time, if we go to create but to, to simulate of all flow, I just uh, prepared two idea where we can go to API of Jira, validate really Jira ticket present there or not. At the same time, we can check if someone will create on the SRE group new project, we can inform or notify another person or place, just be informed about that. So I will try to create some new project we can see event happened here we can go back to the event and see view details so we can find from here we so actually this response is useful right now for us to inform Slack or any place someone created project with this name on the project namespace SRE. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful.